Hello guys, what is up? And today, I'm gonna be starting my FIFA 16 career mode for you guys, and um, first time with good quality as well. But um, yeah, we're gonna be doing a West Ham career mode here, as you can see. Just picking up the team here. <coughs> we're gonna be on world class five minutes, lenient as always, Sterling, and obviously download the latest squads. And obviously, we'll we we will be in the OL, yeah the OLs this season. Hopefully we can go on to big things there. That would be very useful. There we go, I'm just naming my character here, guys. Just gonna put it as Ned Corrigan, Republic of Ireland, all that good stuff. And yeah, guys, so basically, this is just gonna be a West Ham, West Ham career mode. And, yeah. That's all, uh, that's all there really is to say about it. It's just gonna be a West Ham career mode. Just going to be seeing what I can do with it, see if it goes down well with you guys. And if it does, leave some suggestions down below on who I should sign, because I'm not really too sure on who I should sign. First of all guys, I really want to give a shout out to EA for getting the chance on point. I never even realised, but I'm, I'm I'm, commentating on this after I've played it by the way, but the thing, the things in this game is unreal. The, at the end, like, if you score a goal or something at the start of a match, they sing, they do the chance like forever blowing bubbles and all that, which in my opinion is really, really cool. I really like that. So yeah, big, big shout out. Sorry guys, I'm just typing here. As you can see here, just going to rename it here. As you can see, I'm just going to be doing a formation first here, guys. Obviously, Payet is going to be our star, star man. We're going to be playing a 4-3-3 attack. We're going to be playing uh, from the back, Adrian, left back, Craswell, T. Senevax, Ogbonna, and Reed. I feel like is the best shout. Jenkinson at right back is really good. Really, really like him there. I think he is a really good right back. Um, the centre mids, I'm going to be going with... Is it Mark Noble and Piate? I think that's who I put in there. That cam obviously I do have Payet who is injured at the minute apparently. Left mid we got Moses, right mid we got Antonio. And up front we got Enna Valencia, who I reckon could do some damage this season. Hopefully. <laughs> Still got the likes of Andy Carroll. Let me just say guys, I had to use MNEK because Enna Valencia was out on international duties. And let's just say MNEK is still really, really, really good on this game, let's just say that he's really 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 good, <laughs> let's just put it that way as you can see I am just starting up to debate him to put Byron in for Saka but I did go against him in the end tried putting him in for Randolph I was like no just in case, you know it can happen but yeah as you can see here first scout report has arrived perfect Jackson who we do actually go in for uh, Walton I've had a look at him before didn't really want him this time. Jack Rodwell. We will scout him and see if we will buy him. That's all from there. League objective. They do only want us to finish mid-table, which is not too bad in my opinion. There we go. Uh, just looking at our shortlist here. It is Douglas who I've put on there. Who's the new player? Perfect Jackson. Rodwell. And Vilhena from Feyenoord in the Eredivisie, I believe it is. Bill Hayner is going to be probably my first choice because he's a little bit cheaper than Rodwell. And obviously here we do put in a 1 million bid for Berthick Jackson. We do put in a bid for O'Brien for Douglas as well and 500 grand but I highly doubt the boss don't accept that but we'll see what happens. With that one and Bill Hayner only got 12 ones left so I thought you know what why not chuck in a little uh, 2 million. Didn't think it'd work but here goes the training here guys. Training for the team. Excuse me here guys. <coughs> and this is these are the players who I think we should be training up here. Who I believe anyways, we should be training up. Obviously we've got main man Pedro Biang, really, really, really RP player there. 
It's really good. And I think this had to do Adrian as well. Obviously, Reese Oxford is another player who this series will be based around after the bursting onto the scene. Um, against Arsenal, believe it or not. Speaking of Arsenal, what do you guys, what do you guys predict for the game? Obviously, you guys will see this afterwards, but I'm going to be watching a, a stream personally of Barcelona versus Arsenal, and I reckon it could be a good game. I reckon, seriously, I'm a Man United fan. I reckon that could be a pretty decent game. I really do think Arsenal are going to trouble them, but are they going to go through? Sorry, Arsenal fans, I do not think you're going to go through. Because overall. Barcelona. It, it happens every single season to Arsenal. Unfortunately, they just they just get Barcelona. They get Real Madrid. You get the Bayern Munich. They just get the big teams every single time. Unfortunately, for them. Here you go. You just can you just see me here picking up the kits. And obviously the team got changed around because Payet is injured. The likes of Ena Valencia is out at the minute. International duty and he can see the result down the bottom. And I'm gonna do it like this, guys. For now, the match highlights. Tell me what you think about that. The first goal here, Lanzini puts it in. A really nice finish from the lad, actually. This is Emanike who did grab the assist. I, I do believe Emanike got two go uh, one goal and two assists in this game. As you can see, they did get back here for a decent strike. Overall, guys, Adrian did not impress me that much. Seriously, he did not impress me that much. Ogbonna there coming close of a chance up against their goalkeeper, but... As I said, you will, you will see when he concedes. Didn't was not impressed with Emanike showing why he's such an OP player. He's so good, Emanike. It's unreal. I would have loved to have him on Ultimate Team. Don't believe he's on Ultimate Team. There you go. A bit of passing here from their team. Plays it through him. There you go. Adrian. Can't see it very well, but Adrian really should be saving that shot. Put it this way. He's straight through and he just bangs it first time. But here you go. This is the star goal. Boom. Straight in from Sacco, who I did bring on. It's that man M and EK again. I'm gonna have to think about starting him in some more games. Okay guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!